So hi guys, welcome back to another video on AJ5. So as you can tell by the title, today we're going to be talking about buying and selling cars in the UK, what you need to know, the requirements that you need, um, and especially if you're mass like myself, below 25, uh, when you can do it, what you need to do it, and and yeah, so let's carry on and see what is required from yourself and I'm going to go step by step uh, everything you need to know and how you can register yourself as a sole trader or as a limited company I'll, go, I'll be going through all of that step by step and yeah and make sure you stay tuned for future videos make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video hope you find it useful but yeah let's go into Google so the first thing you need is a motor trader insurance and you can literally just type it in and I've spoken to uh, these people here um, I've spoken to a few uh, insurance companies uh, actually so if you're below the age of 25 you're gonna need at least one year of uh, no claims discount so uh, like myself if you've got more than one year you can get it you can get the motor trade insurance you qualify for a motor trade insurance however if you've got no um, no no claims discount so zero years no claims discount you won't be able to get a motor trade insurance and without a motor trader insurance you won't be able to trade cars so you won't be able to buy and sell cars uh, for a profit uh, so that's and the advantage of motor trade insurance is you can just type it in but is that you don't really need to um, insure like every car that you buy you don't need to insure it so say you buy and sell about three cars a month or two cars a month to keep it re a bit realistic you don't really need to insure that car and then you know call your insurance and say okay look I sold it can I insure it on another car this, it saves you a lot of time and hassle and you know saves you from talking to a lot of insurance companies back and forth so if you just type in um, motor trade insurance you should get a few so you got a uh, one uh, I think it's called eShore uh, Insurance. I pulled them up the other day. Confused.com. You've got a few. If you scroll down, uh, you've got Tradex as well. And uh, what the uh, int uh, I think it's called this one here, uh, eShore Insurance. What they told me is that no one will be able to insure me if I've got no zero years no claim discount unless I'm over the age of 25. And yeah, so motor trade insurance is one thing that you need. So that's that's. Uh, compulsory if you want to trade within the UK legally uh, I'm not sure how you can do it legally but yeah and the next thing you need is um, trade plate and that's it comes I think it's about 90 pounds it shows you the if you go into here trade license plates that's why it's called trade license plates it's like uh, you know when um, let me show you a picture trade license plates It's like just numbers on the number plate when you see like these numbers here like you might see you might have seen them on cars when you're just driving around this is this saves you from you know speaking to the DVLA and putting a MOT on your car and road tax the road tax the main one because if you've got a car then you need to make sure that it has road tax and now that it's changed uh, recent about a year or two ago the, every time you sell a car you need to get need to speak to the DVLA and tell them okay look I've sold the car I don't need the road tax anymore and they give you a refund well however if you've got the trade license plate you don't need to put a road tax MOT on none of your cars I mean MOT I think is compulsory but you don't need a road tax on your cars you can just uh, you know it, it just works off this plate basically and uh, you've got different prices here so if, in, if depending on when you get it and obviously if, uh, if it's for bicycles only and tricycles is a bit cheaper it's about nearly half the price uh, it, but if it's for a actual car or a van or whatever you're you know trading so uh, this is a six month license from June is 90 pounds 12 month license is 165 pounds from December so that's December to November or December to December 12 months basically so exactly a year and then um, it all ends in I'm guessing it all ends in um, December so here you've got 10 months yeah the, you've got it here December December that's when it ends uh, when the license expires December so you, if you get it in February is 165 March it gets cheaper because obviously it's um, you get less time to use it and this is something else that you need so so far you've got the motor trade insurance that you need and the trade license plates these are the two key things that you need to trade
cars within the UK so these are the legal requirements that you need and again if you're below the age of 25 you need at least one year on a no claims discount whether it might be for a company or even privately you need one year minimum uh, without that you won't be able to trade and uh, you won't be sorry you won't be able to get a motor trade insurance and to get a trade license plate you need motor trade insurance so if you've got no zero no claim discount you won't be able to get either a trade license plate or a motor trade insurance unless uh you know you have like an older brother or your dad or your mom that you know you're on a you're, you're trading with them that then it's fine you and if they've got if you've over the age of 25 you don't need um you can have zero no claims discount and you can still um you know you can still get the motor trade insurance so these are the two key things that you need to trade within the uk however if we search it up here oh, well, we're one more. buying buying and selling cars uk requirements just to double check i haven't missed anything out And the people said that you can sell up to three cars in the UK without, yeah, there it is, three cars per year that you can sell on a profit without a license plate. I'm not 100% sure how that works, but obviously if you if you want to go full time or even part time, I'm guessing you'll be selling, um, you'll be selling more than three cars a year. You'll be aiming at least one car every two months or one car a month if, you know, if different people have different targets. But again, this was back in 2010, which was 10 years ago. So it might be outdated by now so you can't really tell if that's still you know this is still the case because as we know it's this 10 years later a lot has changed since then the car industry has changed the way you trade has changed a lot of things have changed as well so yeah so yeah guys uh, that's pretty much it for today's video so what you've got is motor trade insurance and it says from 46 19 i'm not exactly sure how much because obviously these these are just like the lowest figures 4619 it might be for someone who's got maybe 50 years experience in the industry you never know and they've got different prices for full time if you want to go full time you've got a different price if you go part time obviously it's going to be cheaper so you've got a different price for that as well and uh, i think motor trade or trading cars is a very good idea if you know if you've got a full-time job and you're looking to make some extra income you can you can give it a go you know uh, you just invest a little bit keep about two three hundred pounds to the side for your insurance for your trade plates and see how it goes you can do, do it for a few months and see if you can make any profit from it but yeah guys that's pretty much it so motor trade insurance and trade license plates um, if you go on the gov website you can see all their prices here and you know how much it, co it will cost you depending on how long so you can just get it for six months for 90 pound which is not that bad when you're selling a cause you 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 know you want to you want to include these prices as well you know constant uh, take into consideration that you've spent 90 pounds for this so so yeah guys um, that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions about trading cars or you know buying and selling cars do leave a comment down below and i'll try my best to answer your questions and yeah that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed the video please leave a like and let me know if what videos or what content you guys want to see on my channel and i'll do that for you guys and yeah subscribe to my channel let's try and hit 3000 subscribers by the end of the year and yeah guys uh take care and peace